Hi everyone, so today I'm at the Coal Drops Yard to look at the new Samsung Air Source heat pump. It's an R32 model, all black. I'm gonna go and check it out and see what it's capable of doing. Hi everyone, so yep, I've just been to the, the Samsung launch of their new high temperature, uh, ultra quiet air source heat pump. It was an interesting uh, concept actually, I quite like the look of the product, it looks very sleek, uh, it's all black rather than sort of your beige and white uh, kind of outtake for a heat pump, so um, you know, it looks, looks very Samsung actually, if you, you look at the other products that they produce with their, you know, tablets, TVs, etc, etc. I think there's a couple of factors that we just need to consider and, and things that we really need to look at. And um, saying that, you know, it's a high temperature unit capable of, you know, kind of like for like for a, for a boiler, for instance. Um, I still think, you know, there's, there still needs to be a few factors that we really need to delve into. You know, when you're looking at, you know, minus two, for instance, in the southeast, looking at, say, even a 60 degree flow temperature, how, does, how well does it perform? You know, what sort of drop-offs in performance do you see? How efficient is it gonna be? How much is it gonna to cost to run? They're, they're the most important factors. You know, speaking to the guys there just a moment ago, some of the technical team and obviously the, the kind of sales team as well, they're saying that the real promotion for the high temp is that they can provide really high water temperatures, which means that they can eliminate some of the aspects of needing to put a legionella cycle in for instance really focusing on for instance on those social housing so where you have to be able to achieve 60 degrees plus in order to el eliminate any prospects of legionella you know that's to protect the housing association and to protect the tenants inside of that so you know you just got to Air on the side of caution a little bit we really do need to get hold of a product um would like to actually because want to see how it performs and, and and you know what's involved with the installation process and what people will really get from this product um also there's the ultra quiet factor and it can go down to say 35 decibels but that will mean that it will go into an ultra quiet mode probably for a night time um which means that you know you'll get a lower output from the unit itself but it does eliminate you know people's concept of how noisy heat pumps can be um, and being able to use that over night time particularly in the coldest climates for instance um, is very important another aspect that i did really like about the design is it's the same chassis for say an 8 kilowatt 12 kilowatt and 14 kilowatt very close to the mitsubishi ikadan sizes in the eight and a halfs and the 11s so you know it's a single fan unit sits quite low down much smaller than say the Midia or the Stiebel Eltrons um, that are the largest of the heat pumps, even though they're single fan, but they're very, very large units. Um, so this is, you know, a little bit smaller, which is great. Um, it will more or less sit under, a, you know, kind of a standard window height at say 1200 high. So I think that that's got something going for it as well and, and was needed in this industry because double fan units, you've got two fans running. So, you know, you've got concept of something slightly noisier also the fact that you know it's really about aesthetics as well you know keeping something that looks a little bit smaller and more aesthetically pleasing on the outside um, is really important so um, like I say I think really want to get hold of one of these products really get to detail with it how it's how it's really performing um, there are certain aspects as well that we can put into place with it um, certain apps such as smart things which you can incorporate quite a lot where you can use some of your smart energy um, or your smart energy meters that you might get from your energy providers so you can get you know a better context in in terms of you know running costs you know how much energy you're using for particular products for instance and, and things that you're using in the home um, so yeah I, it was interesting um, and I think we just need to get a bit more uh, detail on the actual product itself um, and watch this space we'll, 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 we'll definitely um, give you some more information for that coming up um, shortly I think you know this is the launch night um, it's going to be available in the next four to six weeks 
and um, and we'll go from there. But listen, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, um, and subscribe to our channel, and uh, and we'll see you on the next video.